Okay, so this video is about how to make the buttons that I made and shared last week, at the end of last week. Um, I like to use the website Canva. Uh, it is your, your search will make it Canvas, but take off the S, canva.com. Um, there's lots of things that you can do. I will go ahead and show you the things that I have made. Um, here's those buttons that I made. Here's some other things that I use on my Canvas pages. Um, so you can kind of see there's lots of different options. I'm going to just start with a blank design and walk you through how to make the, the button. So I'm going to say create a design. You can see you can make a lot, you can make your own dimensions. You can do all kinds of different things. I just pick the logo because it's a square and I can resize it. Uh, you can do lots of different things with it. On the left side here, you can see the ribbon that you can change all different things. I'm going to go to the background first. Lots of things are free that you can pick. As you scroll down, there are pay options. Um, it has a little crown on it. I'm trying to find one. Um, there's lots of free backgrounds, I guess, but we'll just go back to the top and a background it doesn't for our purposes I'm not sure what I'm making this button for but we can do elements are different <coughs> different icons different things that we might use uh, I like to use the clicker the hand because it kind of tells people it's a button um, you could put there's lots of different things there's things that move there's um, Lots of different options that you might want to do. Um, there's a whole section for coronavirus. I had kind of showing you some of the different options. Um, you can also do an upload. So here's some of the images that I uploaded. Um, I'll just pick this one for our purposes. I can you can make it bigger. You can make it. And see, now I want my clicker hand to be above the Brave's head so I can go position and bring it forward. And now I can see that it is uh, forward. When I select this icon, I can change the color. So the lines are, are black, the outline is black. I could make the outline purple. I could make the fill color, some other color, whatever you would want to do. But these are the options where you do that. As long as it's selected, I could come here. Now I can't, when it's an image that you have uploaded, it's a little, you don't have as many options to filter and change it. You can make it black and white, you can make it um, adjusting, you can adjust the tint, but it still doesn't really change the image as much as the elements that you're given in the bar over here. And then text, you have lots of options for text. I picked this one for the buttons that I did. Um, I'll just pick that one because I think it looks fun kind of the same idea you want to you know make it look proportionately correct and then the way to make it animated you can uh, unclick everything and it'll give you the, when nothing is selected on your logo it gives you the option to animate here and you can do block fade pan rise I picked Tumble for the ones that I made at the end of last week. These ones, the little crown tells you you have to pay for them. So I'm never going to do those. But uh, I like the Tumble. The Rise is pretty cool. Um, and so we'll just pick Tumble for, our, for this example. And then you go download. Notice it'll play for five seconds. And you can change the time to whatever you want it to be there's the example when you click download it gives you lots of options the mp4 will not let you make it a button so you can see you can make it a png a jpeg but the gif is what lets it be animated still while it's on your screen so you want to download it as a gift so you go download so now we have our our button our gif downloaded i'll go ahead and go through i know that aaron has already gone through how to put a button in but I'll use my IRP page because I don't I know that they don't really go to it that often I did put a meet in for my IRP but I'm quite positive they're not going to check into it so what I want to do here I can insert my image and I 
like it when images are over here. So I made the screen smaller. I zoomed in on the screen. G's file, I will find right there. Um, when you put an alternative text here, it will read it when a screen reader is reading for a, a kid who has accessibility needs. So then you just hit upload. And there's my picture. I'll select my picture and go to make it a link. Whatever I want to link it to a URL, that's what I would do there. Or if I want to link it to one of my own Canvas pages, I can click over here on the links. And as long as that image is selected, then it becomes a a link. So I don't have a lot in my IRP, but if there's an assignment, I could link it to that assignment. And then it goes straight to the assignment. So.